Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try a solo hunt today on Hunt Showdown. It's going to be tricky. And I'm not 100% sure if in solo there are still other players that are in duos. But I guess we'll find out if we see some duos working together. But I have no teammate. I hear shots already. Use E to find our magical spot with our tracking abilities, which is the uh, blue glowy stuff over there. And that's kind of the direction these shots are coming from. Also got myself a knife. So we can one tap some zombies with this. Sneak up behind them. Bam, they're down. I've also got the Talon shotgun here, which uh, kind of does the same thing. Holds it like a baseball bat. It's got spikes on the butt. So we can take the zombies down one hit. But we won't avoid anything else, really. Because they're pretty OP. But now I want to sneak up on what's taking these shots. And get this first clue. So as I mentioned before, performance is not the best in Hunt yet. Bit of optimizations, but it's first public test. And it's Crytek with its own engine. CryEngine, so his optimizations will happen. The worst of it is when everything's still loading in, I guess. Okay, first clue just here. We'll see some FPS drops there. I can hear something big up ahead as well. Got some zombies on the road down there. The, uh, the insect woman there, she's got a snap neck, really freaky looking with the hive coming out of her ribcage. You want to shoot that hive for a one tap on her, but you get those insects on you and that is irritating as all hell. Because she will poison you with those insects. That's uh, a couple of zombies eating, chow chowing down on a, on a horse or something in there. So our clue's just up in there. We want to use stealth. Really, to sneak in there. Oh, God. We'll take that horse out quickly. So we didn't give away our position. Here's our first clue. So when we get a clue, it will narrow down the map. So we're in the dark area, so this is like the area we don't want to be checking now. This is the area we want to be looking for more clues. This area will get smaller the more clues we get. I think three, and then it will show us which compound the boss is in, which is a spider on this one. And this here will be our nearest extract, I should think. We've got two over this side, but I'd imagine that's going to be our closest one. But we'll find out. So where's our next uh, clue over that way? To the east, have we got any more showing up? No, we got one to the north as well. So I'm going to head off to the north for the next clue. Of course those shots are around here somewhere. I may be getting close to where there are players. We can sneak up on these. Give them a little... Give them a little slice. If you have a normal butt of the gun, it, it takes a couple of whacks. So you're better off buying a knife. They're only like $15 or something like that. There's actually a couple of insect... Mobs down there. So you don't want to run into those really. They will mess you up. The scary as well, they make a, a freaky scream or something. They they they're not nice. There's a couple of mobs I just completely avoid. There's a big one with no head. Which maybe if we see one during this play, we'll take a closer look, but I'd rather not fight him if I can help it. And the armoured zombie, which you really don't want to fight, because they take so many shots and you do not want to waste your ammo in Hunt. Ammo is is very precious, and it's pretty rare. So if you run out of ammo, you are screwed. There's no way you're winning a match of showdown. It's all about the Hunt. Stealth. Audio is key. You can hear footsteps from players and AI. And the AI are scary. Like, not just visually, but they actually hit hard. And of course, being solo this play, I really don't want to be running around like crazy. Swamps are a nice shortcut, but if you do run across the swamp, you're extremely exposed and extremely slow. 
As for loot during the map, you can't loot players, but you can loot little items like this uh, ammo crate here we can loot if we get low on ammo and there are some med kits you can use and boxes of ammo died about as well as the lanterns you could oh Jesus Christ that thing just spawned in front of me so that's another issue as well with this uh, the early access kind of test build of this stuff does spawn right in front of you sometimes got a couple of fire zombies over there if they hit you there but they set you on set you alight as well with their flames their torches so you really want to Make sure you hit them straight off. So our clue is right in there, so we want to sneak around really. Animations are really nice though for the weapons. The machete has got a really nice animation to it when you put it away. Flips it upside down and slides it into his uh, pouch for it. We'll go with a knife for this one. So we've got another armoured zombie there. Looks like we've got something else up that way. And our clue's in there. Should be a ladder we can climb right here. Hopefully we don't get aggro. Keep your distance, you should be good. Get our second clue. Look at our map. So we're in the top north, east to west on, on the map now. So we just need that last clue and we'll figure out where the spider is. Of course there's multiple ways you can then play it. You can either camp the boss and wait for other players and pick them off one by one. Wait for them to nearly kill the boss and then take... <laughs> that just scared the crap out of me. Take advantage. Or just camp. Uh, extraction and wait for them to come with the bounty, shoot them, take the take the bounty and extract yourself. It all really depends how the game pans out to how you're going to handle things. Of course you could just die straight away by one shot from a player or an infected zombie, creature, monster thing and lose everything from the get-go. This character I have bought a knife and got this bought weapon as well so if I do die I will lose all of that and the money that I spent getting them. So you'd have to buy them again. The shotgun's pretty good. I've had had a lot of luck with the shotgun, really. So we're going to try it again. Sticking to the foliage is key as well. And those crows, you do not want to aggro. They will fly up in the air and make a really loud noise. So if we can find our next clue. Off to the north. East. East, north, east. I've had a lot of fun in Hunt Showdown lately, though. And even in this early build. The performance really is the only thing that's a, the big bummer. The big distraction from enjoying the game. At the moment, you can see the FPS count on the top right, but during my stream that I've done, um, I had like 20 to 30 FPS on stream, which is not good, but, you know, especially in PvP, you need that, that smooth, smooth PvP FPS. I still won, though. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was a horse. They only make noise if a player's nearby. Um, pretty exposed here, really. I'm going to go around this way. I'm pretty sure the horse only makes noise if it's a player nearby anyway. So we've got some popping on creatures as well. Not not as big as performance though, the popping. As long as players don't see things like foliage like not appearing from and they can see you if you think you're hiding in a bush but it's not popped in I guess. That'd be a bit of a bummer. I'm going to take these two zombies out, because there's players right there at that house. Make sure we're good here. Players right there somewhere. Find something. My clue's right in that. That shed there, or chicken hut, whatever the hell that is. I'm, I'm really scared, so I thought I'm going to fumble my words a little bit because my nerves, my adrenaline's through the roof right now. And these clues, uh, I, I'm sure 
that everybody has the same clues because I've met people at a clue quite a few times now. Right, look at her. Look at her next snapback. And the hive coming out of her chest. She can aggro quite close. I'm going to have to shoot this one. Hit the hive as a one shot. Clues right in there. Even if I die in this one, at least you guys have seen a bit. Got a bit more information from this, from the solo gameplay. Okay, you can turn off lanterns, you can shoot those as well to explode them. Make them go boom in an enemy's face. Right, so now, if I crouch here, we're just here, so it's not too far from that east extract, like I said. And it's in the Port Rica in this big, maybe, house or barn there. So we've got to head dead east, pretty much. Right towards those shots, most likely. Which is never good. But if we play it safe and stealthy... And unlike these players, far off shitloads around so you know where they are. We should be good. And not run into crows either, that's never a good thing. Oh, somebody's already there banishing the spider, okay. So now they're banishing it. We can see the storm above them where they are, so this is a good example actually, get to show this. They're banishing the spider now, it's... The storm appears above where it's being banished to hell. So we can see its exact location with our tracking powers. Or we can press the map. And the banishing starts to burn away on the map location. As soon as they do collect the bounty as well when it's finished ba uh, banishing, we can follow them and track them on the map. So what we want to do really is try and get this side of them by the time they've kind of banished that spider to hell. Which is really good actually. I'm re relieved I didn't have to fight it, but you going to have to fight the player or players. Get this side and try and track them down. But of course we heard all their gunfires and so we know where they were anyway. Just didn't quite know where the spider was yet. But now we do. So now we need to get on that other side of them between them and the nearest extraction, which is most likely where they're going to go. Kill them, take the bounty, which we can only take one of. So I'm going to try and like edit this as little as possible, just to give you the maximum information and, and experience of it. So you'll see some stars, you'll see some graphic flicker, but it'll be a good, uh, good showcase of the, an actual match of the game in full. And the way I play it, kind of, you know? But I'm enjoying it. Really scary on your own. Yeah, those coughs, those zombies are freaky. They are so good looking, and the audio, the, the sound design in this game is pretty good. The animations are good. So we can check where the storm is, pretty close. We need to flank around on that northeast side. Get around to the east near the extraction. Let's get moving now. Um, they're banishing is at fifty-six percent, so they're not not far off now. Grabbing that bounty and running. If it is solo, they'll only maybe I don't know if there'll be more than one bounty if it's a solo game. Because I know in duos it drops two bounties, so you can have one per player for like you and your friend. Solo, I don't, I'm not sure. Unless, like we said earlier, it drops you in with duos as well anyway. So. Hopefully this person's locked themselves in the barn or the house and are not actually looking at me running around these trees, but we've also got other players to worry about as well. So we still got to stay on our toes. Trying to be a bit careful. So we can zoom into the map here, get a bit of a better look. So it's dead south of us. Somehow I've drawn out my med kit, which I don't want to do. A couple of zombies there. I've started with a new character as well for this one. I have got a level 25 hunter. But I didn't really want to lose him if I did fail hard <laughs> in solo. So I've, I've just purchased a new uh, a new hunter quickly for this one. This example solo hunt. Shit your pants, mate. So there's the storm. We're on their east side. Ideally we want to get somewhere a bit further down here. Somewhere maybe we could hide. Bounty is on the move, track the dark light. Or the, the track it in dark sight, sorry. So you see that light and then more towards us. Something in the water over there, I can't quite see through the reeds.
Here's steps coming towards me. On my right leg of aggro as well. One down. He's going to hide behind that knockdown tree there. I have got dynamite, so if he pulls to his mate... Yeah, I have got dynamite. Okay, that was a hard hit on me. <gasps> oh my god! That FPS stutter there. <laughs> but it was so close. So close. I would have survived that a lot easier on my high level character. More health. But that's it. A solo game. That's how tense it can get there. My heart is pounding like crazy. Hunt showdown, boys. Solo hunt. Unsuccessful.